Hi Aries, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 28th of September. I nearly said October. To the 3rd of October. That's why I nearly said October. Oh my God, I'm so confused. So Darlings, let's get your spirit card out for the week. Ooh, nice air element. So who's going to fan your flames, Aries? I embrace the element of air and am open to the knowledge, or to all knowledge and wisdom. Wow, Aries, that is very beautiful. So, darlings, what started? The, what the fuck? And straight away, we get a card out. So facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. How is Aries doing that this week? Now keep in mind last week you had two really tough, not tough, but two straightforward to the point where they were bloody long though. Um, both your what the fuck reading and your dating app reading. They were just an extension of each other. They really were. And if you didn't see the dating app reading and you saw your what the fuck reading, go and have a look at it because I'm telling you, I was exhausted. I had a headache after the first one and after the second one, I just, I had to take a break from doing any readings, Aries, because it was, it was just so exhausting and doing those readings for you. That's your movement, your wish fulfillment. No, it ain't. It's your movement, where you need to be. And then we need what you can do about the situation. That's what's out of your hands currently. The reconnecting to the true you. And that's your outcome, darlings. So, Aries. Crikey, that and I've coming out a lot of that card. Aries, darlings, what started the what the fuck? You've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the Ace... Oh, gosh. Not again. Um, how can the Ace of Pentacles start the what the fuck? Okay. I'm getting, lovelies, that you had a new beginning in your hands... And I'm getting it didn't come to much. I'm getting that you had new opportunities. Um, I'm getting this was new opportunities around your home life, um, around your family. Maybe to do with work, but not so much I'm getting. But definitely, I'm kind of seeing somebody with those flowers around their head. Um, and then I'm seeing them dancing away from you. So I'm kind of getting that there was a new beginning and it just didn't come to much. That's, that's all I can say about that. So facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Aries, what is it with you and this couple? There's a decision to be made around a couple, my darlings. And it's, it's a serious decision because you've got the Queen of Pentacles right behind this. This is the Earth Mother. She's the nurturer. She's the life giver. She gives you abundance. She stabilizes you. She's been it, seen it, done it, and now she's sitting grounded behind this couple, looking at them, saying, come on, I've given you everything you need to work this out. Why aren't you working it out? Why aren't you working it out? I'm getting, Aries, that you are quite fearful of this connection. And I don't think there's any substance in your fear. I just think it's your fear. And I think to take your power back, you need to start, male or female, you need to start acting like you are the stability that can actually make this connection work, if that's what you want. Because you've got free will, but I am, whew, I am getting that the Queen of Pentacles is kicking your booty around this, lovelies. Because she's saying it's time this new beginning actually started. 
I'm not getting that that's a lost new beginning. I'm getting it just didn't come to much. And she is clearly saying, come on. Gave you everything you need. I grounded you. Gave you stability. Gave you abundance. And you're still not making that decision. That this connection that you had that frightened the big Jesus out of you. Because I remember that from last week. This connection needs this decision making. I'm getting that you haven't let this connection go. I am not seeing anybody else in this connection. Unless it's an earth sign that you are dealing with Aries. But I'm not at the moment seeing who it is. Because I think you've closed yourself off from them. So in your manifestation, your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked, you've, you're asking for natural justice. You're asking the cosmos to put this right for you in your manifestation, in your wish fulfillment. Ain't going to happen, mate. You've got, you've got, you have got to do some work towards this. Um, karma and natural justice doesn't work like that. You can let natural justice come in once the scales are balanced and the labyrinth is clear and the sun will come down and it will illuminate things for you. But you have to do some work towards it. You have to take your responsibility, your part that you played in this in order for natural justice to play out fully. And I'm not saying that the other person didn't have a part to play in this. They very possibly did. But I'm not getting a flavour of them in this deck, in this reading. I'm just getting you. And, and, and like I said, unless you're dealing with an earth sign. Because you've got a lot of earth in here. And that is always around your family, your career, your pentacles, your home your stability and I'm kind of getting that maybe that it rocked you a little bit it kind of there was a shock element to this and that's why you're asking natural justice to come in you are struggling to get those scales of justice into balance in order to clear that labyrinth to clear a way forward for you oh I get it you want the way f you want to do the work but you want a, you want that to illuminate a way forward for you in order for you to move forward and make the decision around this connection so darlings your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you're the two of pentacles and this tells you stop fucking juggling Stop juggling, start grounding, start being responsible, bring that foot back down on the ground, stop juggling your pentacles, stop. I'm also almost getting stop gambling. So I don't know if there's sort of like an addiction going on there. Maybe you are gambling or maybe you're drinking too much or maybe there's drugs involved. But it's saying stop juggling with something because that's just clouding your judgment even more around this connection. And then once you stop juggling, like magic, this little page of wands is coming in. A younger energy, a younger fire energy, who is clearing the way for you magically. They're clearing a blockage for you in order for you to move forward on your journey. What you can do about the situation, the whole situation, is, darlings, you've got the Oak King and he is telling you, Look at this from a different perspective. I get that you're looking at it from your perspective at the moment and that you haven't even entertained the idea of exploring it from the other person's perspective and what might have been going on around them at the time. But I am getting that you are in a stuck position at the moment and although you've got the infinity sign, you're going round and round and round this figure of eight. You really don't want that, darlings. You want... Life is not about infinity going round and round and round. It's about taking the chance on the journey with somebody. Oh, Aries. 
So darlings, what's out of your hands right now, what the universe is holding on to you for is the Knight of Pentacles. Now this is you moving towards your home, your career, your job, your money and all the rest of it and making those good decisions slowly as it may be. But the universe has decided to hold on to this movement for the time being because I'm getting that they really want you to understand this connection was so strong here and it's kind of weakened and tailed off. And that the reconnection to the true you, I think you've gone back to a default position Aries and you've turned your back and you're looking out across seas. Now I don't know if you're thinking about going on holiday or whether you're thinking about going out and finding something else to occupy yourself with, a new contract, um, bringing in goods to sell on, whatever it is, you are trying to reconnect to your true self by distracting yourself. And it may work for a while, but not for long, lovelies, because your outcome is the seven of pentacles. This is your choices around home, around finance, around your career. And it's about a choice that you need to make on something that you're good at, something that you do naturally, as opposed to something that you may have trained to do. This is a shift. This is a movement on from being the craftsman and the next step is the master craftsman. You've got a lot of pentacles in this reading. And I'm kind of getting from that, lovelies, that you... Either you're dealing with an earth sign or your earth in your chart. But it was a very earthy kind of feel to it. And right in behind all of this, you've got the five of wands. And I know I laughed just then. I've been telling the earth signs, be careful of this. This is a group of people coming in with egos up to the world. So in personalities bigger than the Grand Canyon. Aries, this is you. This is you. I know there's five people there, but that's how big your personality is. And I'm kind of getting that sometimes it can be overwhelming for other people to understand how you roll. Um, and it could be that this connection was a misconnection because of that. Um, I'm getting that if you want this connection back, if you're going to backtrack and do something about this connection, which I'm not getting a flavour of at the moment because you're distracting yourself, but if you are going to backtrack, you need to give of yourself it needs to be about you rather than what you have. It not material. Do not talk about material stuff because I get that the connection uh, may have been distorted by what you could offer materialistically, while rather than what you could offer passionately, spiritually, emotionally. Um, because I'm getting that. If, your ego's through the fucking wild zoo, Aries. So, darlings, let's get some... Um, oh, my goodness. I've just seen that. I missed that. Aries, I think you're dealing with an air sign. I'm clearly getting that the Queen said, look, we've paid this way for you with this connection. And it could be an air sign, but... I think you're dealing with an air sign. And that's what it's saying to you. I embrace the element of air and am open to all knowledge and wisdom. I'm kind of getting that this air sign may have well brought some knowledge and wisdom to the table that you weren't ready to hear. Ooh, Aries. That's cheered me up no end. Well, it hasn't really, but hey, at least I ain't got a date this week. Have some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Aries, please, for the 28th of September to the 3rd of October. Oh, 
obviously they don't want you to have knowledge, wisdom and guidance. Oh, there you go. There's a nice little pile. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, you've got the peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right, Aries. No shit, Batman. You have the star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. And you have the hunter. Track down your fears and desires, Aries. Darlings, listen. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe. Um, but try and reconnect with this person. Because I remember from last week, we said just for fuck's sake, go and knock on the door. Um, and this week, I'm getting that, that that's kind of past. And it's, it's a missed opportunity. But the Queen of Pentacles is still clearly saying stop fucking distracting yourself and um face this face this it is to do with your ego you are partly responsible for the outcome of this darlings my lovely aries i tell you what it's a pleasure to read for you it really is but you still give me a thanks you do i know i haven't got one this week but i'm looking at it thinking that maybe i'm going to get one anyway Wherever you are in the world, darlings, please be safe and I will speak to you next week. Bye for now.